Villawood's activities fielded a solid performance across TV, radio and newspapers. Preparation of a different kind for three premiership stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Visiting former Royal Children's patients at the Henley Villawood home up for grabs at the Good Friday Appeal before this week's date in front of more than 80,000. Henley Homes have donated this magnificent home. They've actually donated 44 homes in 31 years, which is phenomenal in support of Good Friday Appeal. Uh, also a shout out to Villawood Properties who have provided the land. Uh, we're in Lara, which is right next to Geelong, so everyone mm. knows Geelong. It's about an hour or so from the CBD in Melbourne. This is going to be spectacular. I want to thank all of the trades, of if course. I can. There's over about 150 trades. A lot of them suppliers. are here this morning. We'll they be meeting them, yeah. A big shout out to them. And obviously Henley for the last 31 mm. years. Villawood for donating the land for 14 years. It's just incredible. Details have been released of the planned multi-million dollar redevelopment of Morfordville Racecourse. The SAJC has chosen developer Villawood Properties to redevelop rezoned land between the racetrack and Anzac Highway. Morfordville will soon be home to many more residents. The SAJC has announced Villawood and Host Plus as the developing partners for a major revamp. A multi-million dollar redevelopment uh, is being announced to Morfordville Racecourse. Almost. 250 homes on course uh, to be built over the next three years and then uh, three apartment towers also on Anzac Highway. It's an exciting time. Now to our first look at the bold vision for a new and improved Morfordville racecourse. The $350 million redevelopment will feature townhouses, shops and a new tavern. It's being billed as a once in a generation project, transforming seven and a half hectares of land between the racetrack and Anzac Highway. Morfordville Racecourse will soon be home for up to 2,000 people with plans for a giant trackside housing development released. A trackside transformation with a $35 million redevelopment in the starting gate. It's been six or seven years in the making. 7.5 hectares of mostly vacant land to become a master planned community, comprising hundreds of townhouses, low rise apartments, and a public plaza linking Anzac Highway with Morfordville and the Junction Hotel. The land sold off to developer Villa Wood in a move the SA Jockey Club says will underpin its survival. A severe house shortage is propping up prices with available stock now at an all-time low. The market is so tight an AFLW star spent last night in her car. AFLW player Georgie Presparkis spent last night sleeping in her car to be the first in line to secure a block of land in Sunbury. Got here at 8pm last night. It's been a very long night. The sale started at 9am, so it was first in, best dressed. Wannabe homeowners have camped out for more than 12 hours to get their hands on a plot of land more than an hour's drive from Melbourne. One by one, families secure their great Australian dream. Yeah. 15 blocks of land snapped up at Villa Wood's Kimberley Estate. Had eight people camp overnight, which is phenomenal. It's got that real regional feel about it. Um, especially this particular part of Sunbury, it's growing rapidly and I think this will be the direction Sunbury heads in. 